Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about my history of basically where I've come from and to where I'm at right now. Um, so as most of y'all know, I'm adopted. I have three older brothers. We're all adopted. Um, my mother, my birth mom, not my adopted mom, my birth mom, she was 16 when she had me. So before, well, while she was pregnant, they found out that I had had some heart problems. So she uh, figured that giving me up for adoption would be the best way of life for me and just the best thing to do for me. So she set me up for adoption. Um, I've never met her. Uh, would I want to meet her? I, I guess, yeah, sure, why not? <coughs> uh, I have three older brothers. We're all adopted. Uh, one's from Thailand, and the other two are from America. I got an Asian brother, a Mexican brother, a white brother, and then there's me. So I was adopted when I was like uh, three months old, three months old, and uh, I had a heart problem then, and they did their first they did the first surgery then when I was three months old they put a band on my heart uh, on one of the arteries in my heart to to uh, help some of the blood flow with it and then when I was four years old I outgrew that so I outgrew the band so that's when I went to uh, Boston Massachusetts to uh, get my first open heart surgery <coughs> my first major open heart surgery which they they cut me open, took off the band, and did a whole bunch of stuff to me there. Um, but the nurses said I was always I was always a happy kid then, you know. I was always uh, just happy, go lucky. I've always been a happy person, no matter what, no matter what trials and tribulations I've been through. I've always been able to keep a smile on my face. Uh, after that first major heart surgery, when I was four years old. I had a, I got heart block after that surgery, and that's when they put in my first pacemaker to help with the heart block. Um, and I was fine, and then I've just had a pacemaker ever since then. When I was 10 years old, they did, uh, they replaced the pacemaker. They took it from, it used to be down here on me, and then they put it up here. When I was 10 years old, that's what they did. Um, and then when I was 14 the pacemaker that was right here started uh they didn't suture it down all the way so it started coming out of my side i know this might be kind of crazy for y'all to hear it started uh like working its way out and uh it was, it was kind of crazy because at first i thought it was just like a little bump or whatever and i was like what what is this and then so i watched it for a few days and then uh when i when I looked at it a couple days later, I could see some silver on the side of it. And that was my pacemaker coming out and I was like, holy crap, that's not good. That's when I noticed it was coming out and I called the hospital and I told them what was going on and they said, uh, yeah, that's not good. You should have been here yesterday. So we got up there, they did all that. And then they, they changed the pacemaker from this side to this side. So that's what my pacemaker is right now, it's right here. And it's kind of crazy because I'm a bigger guy so they couldn't like put it underneath the muscle. So it's like right there, you can kind of feel it. It's kind of crazy, it's like there's something. So I've been, uh, after that, when I got the page make a change from my right side, my left side to my right side, um, it was about two Christmases ago that I started, started feeling really bad. My legs would swell up really big and my feet would swell up really big with uh, retaining water and stuff. And I went to a doctor, I went to my uh, doctor in Fort Worth to ask them what was going on and they said I was having a complex congenital heart failure and that's what I'm going through right now. Um, so they put me on the heart transplant list. I've been there, been on the transplant list ever since then. Now I live up in Dallas. I had to move away from my family, my daughter, uh, everything that like I live near. I had to move up to Dallas, which luckily my brother was living in, is living in Dallas. so. I, I got to move in with him, and I appreciate everything he's done for me, um, letting me live with him and all that. Uh, for y'all, for those wondering what my condition is called, it's called L transposition of the great arteries with ventricular sep septal defect.
that's what's going on right now and uh, I have been on the heart transplant list so far 519 days which is really crazy it doesn't seem like it's been that long I mean I know it's been over a year but 519 days just kind of puts it into perspective for me that just like wow I've been waiting this long like any moment it could happen um, one way I know that any moment it could happen is two weeks ago I uh, my friend is graduating he's in Houston two weeks ago he said hey come down for my graduation I called the hospital and I was like can I go to Houston for my friend's graduation they said no I can't go because they've been getting a lot of calls lately for a new heart for me but none of them have been the right one they want the right one for me usually, usually these hearts that they, they get calls for for uh, guys who are in jail druggies who like hung themselves so you know they want a good heart for me not nothing bad like so that's what I've been going through guys that's my history from then into now uh, just tell y'all you know that's what's going on with me thank you for subscribing to me thanks for sharing all the love i appreciate it all uh you guys rock for always rating commenting and subscribing you are the best subscribers i could ever wish for um there'll be more videos coming soon next monday after doctor's appointment so y'all are going to be coming along for that like always of course um you know thank you for sticking around guys peace out